Hello guys, in this quick video I want to give you one argument, one strong argument in my opinion, why you should all use form requests for validation instead of doing inline validation. So if you have a form request class with set of rules, what is the benefit over doing that something like this? Request validate because I still see a lot of people doing that and that's okay, that's perfectly valid and working code to have request validate directly in the controller and then do something with the validated data. And even if you look at the Laravel documentation, the first thing discussed is inline validation with request validate. And form requests are discussed only much, much later in this documentation page. Actually, let's scroll up and see, yeah, form request validation. So it's somewhere on the one third of the page. And I would argue this should be higher and this should be promoted as the first thing instead of inline validation. Why? Because this inline validation may violate two core principles of solid and dry, don't repeat yourself, and single responsibility principle. Let me show you. So for example, you have the validation for the web controller and this is all fine. But what if in the future you have the mobile application with the API, which also needs to store the controller. So you create a separate app HTTP controllers API product controller with also store method and then you do what? The same thing so this is the controller from the api already and then you repeat the same validation rules with the same request validate twice so the principle don't repeat yourself should not be violated and would not be violated if you use store product request like this then you don't need that code at all of course we need to change that to request validated then the controller is shorter and then the same with API controller, so store product request. And we don't need this and we can do request validated. So the only difference in the controllers then is the response. So return JSON or redirect somewhere. So we don't violate dry principle of don't repeat yourself. And also I mentioned solid principle. And the first thing of solid S stands for single responsibility principle. And I'm planning to shoot a separate video on solid principles quite soon. But first thing in the controller is that controller should not be responsible for the validation. Any class should be responsible for one job or minimum amount of jobs, ideally. So if the controller is responsible for the validation as well, it kind of violates the single responsibility principle. So now when we move that to form request, we have form request responsible for the validation and controller responsible for, well, controlling the request. Even that technically should be moved to some kind of a service if you want to have a separate class for creating the product. If we do that strictly under solid principles, but let's leave that to the future videos. For now, I wanted to emphasize that form requests help you with not repeating your code in the future and make your controllers shorter and more readable. What do you think? Do you still use inline validation like request validate or do you use form requests? And did you have any downsides with using form requests? Maybe I missed something. Shoot in the comments and let's discuss. And if you want more short videos like this one, subscribe to the channel because I still keep shooting daily videos on this channel. And if you want to support me on this mission, here's the list of products from my team to support us, but it's not the charity. The products are still good and awesome and people are using them. So admin panel generator, my courses and live wire kit, but by purchasing them, you give me my more free time to shoot these free videos on YouTube. See you guys in other videos.